This health education cast is has been prepared by Jose Perez de la Cruz on behalf of the People for People project of the Terence Higgins Trust. The graphic used during this presentation is reproduced courtesy of iBase. A number of different kinds of HIV tests now exist apart from the traditional antibody test, many of which can be used for condition monitoring as well as diagnosis. However, the different kind of tests will be covered in more detail in another session. The main subject of this presentation is window periods. The window period is the period of time from initial infection, or exposure to the HIV virus, to the time tests for the virus show positive. In other words, the time it takes for us to be able to detect the virus. The process of someone moving from being HIV negative to HIV positive, which corresponds to the body making detectable levels of antibodies to HIV, is called seroconversion. It is though around 70% of people will get symptoms during this time. This period of time varies quite a lot with the different kinds of tests available. With the standard antibody test, which was the first kind of test available for HIV, it can take up to three months for antibodies to show in some people. Indeed, the standard guidance for those with a potential exposure to HIV is to register at intervals up to three months to ensure they are completely free of HIV. It must be pointed out though that in most people, some 99% of the population, antibodies will normally be present in sufficient quantities to test positive at around eight weeks. Some people may test positive on an antibody test as early as 10 to 14 days post-exposure with the average being around 25 days. The antibody test itself actually consists of two separate tests. One is called an ELISA test which gives a simple positive or negative result by indicating a color change if antibodies are present. A positive ELISA test has to be verified with another test as they are very sensitive but not as specific as some other tests. Their original purpose being to screen the blood supply for potential infections rather than diagnosis. The other is called a western blot, which actually separates the individual viral components into a readable format by showing up as bands on a test strip if various viral proteins unique to HIV are present. This is then read by a laboratory scientist and a doctor to confirm infection. When these two tests are performed together the HIV test is 100% accurate. The HIV tests, known as rapid tests, which can now give a result in as little as 60 seconds are based on illicit technology. As such, any result from one of these tests must also be verified in a laboratory, typically with a second ELISA and a western blot. In addition to antibody tests there are also HIV tests which detect things called antigens. Antigens are foreign substance produced by viruses. These are the protein components which prompt your body to make antibodies in the first place as they are recognized as foreign proteins by the immune system. There is an antigen called P24 which is specific to HIV and is only present during early and late stage HIV infection. Importantly P24 is typically present comparatively sooner than antibodies in most people, so by testing for it we are able to detect potential infection earlier than with an antibody test alone. P24 is often present as early as two weeks after initial infection. However, levels of P24 can vary within different individuals quite considerably. Furthermore, the level of the antigen within the bloodstream rises to a peak quite quickly, so the time we have to detect it is quite short. In fact, levels of P24 may subside before there are detectable levels of antibodies. Thus, it is possible for a person to test negative on an antibody test even though they are negative until a sufficient antibody response has developed. That is why it is rare these days for a P24 test to be run on its own as a diagnostic aid in HIV. Usually, P24 tests are combined into a single test with antibody screening. This is a so-called fourth generation HIV test. They are also now available in a rapid test format. The test with the shortest window period is called a PCR test which stands for polymerase chain reaction. Window periods with this test can be as short as 3 days, with an average of around 7 days. Everyone infected by HIV will be positive on a PCR by 4 weeks after exposure. 
These tests work by amplifying the genetic material of HIV hundreds of thousands of times and are the most sensitive test available for HIV. And also one of the most expensive, so much so that PCR is not typically used in most countries as a first-line diagnostic test. A PCR is unlike all other HIV tests in that it tests directly for the virus. Antibody tests in contrast test for the body's immune response to the virus. The viral load test performed regularly on these living with HIV are a kind of PCR test.